Ladies and gentlemen, Konosuba Season 3 is coming out very, very soon. So, I wanted to take a look back at Konosuba Season 1 to see if it actually aged well. I remember when Konosuba Season 1 came out in 2017. I don't remember if it was actually 2017, but that sounds about right. That's seven years ago. I watched the first, I watched it when it originally came out, and, uh... I keep hyping it up as one of my favorite anime is like in my top 20 anime of all time. And to be honest, to be very, very frankly honest, um, people tell me that it didn't age well. So let's see. Did Konosuba actually age well? This is going to be the, uh, the prelude to season three. I am so excited for season three. And let me just tell you one very simple thing. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will react to the whole season three. Let's see, baby. Wait, is this actually how it starts? Oh, baby, it's Kazuma the Goat! Konosuba season one was actually 2016, so it was eight years ago. Holy shit. I never go out if I don't have to. Based Konosuba! This is why Kazuma's the goat. The goat! But today's one of those days when I- God, look at this guy. Look at this I guy. I have to. Such a nerd. God, I love this man's face! The limited edition of a popular MMO is going on sale, and I'm gonna snag one. Yeah! The original advocate of gender equality. I have... Dude, Kazuma has impacted my life more than Andrew Tate has impacted Sneeko's. Bro. Bro! Alright, dude. Five hours later, Target acquired. Bro, this man never heard of Amazon delivery. Man, these in-store exclusives sure can cramp a guy's lifestyle. <laughs> in-store exclusives. It's like, bro, I love how they needed to take like a solid 30 seconds of the episode to explain why he would ever leave the house, right? Like everyone that gets hit by a truck and transported to another world in like your generic isekai fashion, it's like, okay, they were outside. But for Kazuma, we need actual lore reasons as to why this man went outside. What was that? Dude, what was that little face? After three all-nighters in a row, the sun's my worst enemy. True. Gotta true. get inside and play this. Uh, a woman. Didn't even look. She's from my high school. How do you know? <gasps> oh my god! Look out! The truck's gonna! Uh! He's a hero! A damn Why hero! The day of all days? To play hero? No, we won't even be able to play Marion Swords 2! God, I love how like the, the armor all lets gives them midriff. God, it's so amazing. Truly the man among men. The hero of heroes. Bro, this this is the Isekai. This is the Sakai. I love that they really didn't waste time with it. I feel like a lot of more recent isekai give you a solid, like, five minutes in the real world before getting transported. Here, it's like, it's a solid one minute, 20 seconds. We understand this guy's character. Hi, Don't! Masato. Oh my god. Welcome to the afterlife. <laughs> Dude, I love the camera angles. They know exactly what they're doing. A few moments ago, you passed on. My condolences. Oh. Your life was quite short. Oh, no. And now you are quite dead. Wow, look at her pan face. She's just like an uber serious character. Oh, she's evil. She's vindictive. There's something sus going on. So, uh... <laughs> what about the girl? She okay? Dude, what a guy! Look at this guy! Bro! Yes, she's fine. Oh, what a sophisticated goddess. Thank God. At least my death counted for something good. Uh-oh. Actually, even if you <laughs> hadn't pushed her out of the way like you did, she'd still be fine. No! Right in the heart! Right in the heart! Huh? A tractor can't go that fast, so it would have stopped before it hit her. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold it! Back up a sec! What? Yep. Bro, you sacrificed yourself for nothing. Is it? That was a tractor? Yes. A no, no. <laughs> ah! A red one. But then how'd I die? I mean, did I like get run over by it or something? Oh no, you died of shock. Apparently you thought it was- <laughs> The best show of all time. <laughs> this 
says it's the best show of all time. It aged well, ladies and gentlemen. It aged so well. All right, listen. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it actually aged well. But it was a truck. You're kidding. <laughs> Immersion broken. She tried so hard. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I've been doing this for a long time, and you're the first human I ever met who died so ridiculously. Bro, bro, she's insufferable. Insufferable. Bro, you died from beta male syndrome. They did him so dirty. <laughs> the hell? She's making fun of me dying. You were so scared to be run over, you wet your pants. Then you passed out and at the hospital, the doctors and nurses slapped while you had a heart attack. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. She describes it in so much detail. You had shock, you fell down, you pissed yourself, you went to the hospital, and as you died of a heart attack, the doctors laughed at you. Holy shit, she killed him a second time. Oh my god, bro, she deserves everything coming. No, shut up, la 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 la, I don't wanna hear it, I don't wanna hear it! Your family's at the hospital right now and we're just told about how you died, oh, oh, and even they're laughing! Oh, oh. His family is laughing at it! Oh, oh my god, bro! I didn't remember the amount of detail, the amount of detail she's going into to humiliate this guy. Bro, she is so pompous, such a goddamn ego fuck. Dude, this, this is glorious. God, no! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, there's nothing like You see, his parents are just like, Kazuma's a failure! Like laughter to ease the stress of one's day. Damn her! I'm the goddess Aqua. Right. When a young person dies- Bro, she ain't wearing- she ain't wearing underwear. In Japan, it's my job to guide them to the afterlife. Now that you are here, you have a couple of options. You can either reincarnate and return to Earth. Or you can go to heaven and putter around like an old man for eternity. Oh, but God. just between you and me, heaven is nothing like the dreamy place you humans imagine oh, it Oh my like. God. Huh? There's no TV or manga. Dude, the fucking camera angles are literally so peak. Literally so peak. Dude, you can't see her panties if she's not wearing it. Or games, and since you don't have a physical body, you can't have sex. <laughs> I know you're a virgin. If you take heaven now, you will be a virgin for eternity! <laughs> You'll just bask in the sun till the end of time, whenever that happens. What? Sounds totally boring, I know. You don't want to go somewhere like that, do you? Bro, meanwhile, he's still blushing because he's like, holy shit, a female. Uh, I guess not. Starting over from scratch isn't all it's cracked up to be either. But I have another option I know you'll love. Bro, she is so manipulative. She is so manipulative. Dude, look at look at Aqua. Look at this character. I totally forgot how good of a character this is. She thinks that she could get away with everything. She can gaslight this man. She feels like she can get away with everything. Humiliating him, embarrassing him, manipulating him to choose what he wants. See, and people, this is just your average person. Despite having zero life experience, they are in a place of power. They were born to power. They were born at the top of the food chain and they never had to work for anything in their life. You're young. I bet you like games. Huh? In a faraway land, peace and prosperity are being threatened by the Devil King and his army. The innocent are being trampled by monsters, destroyed in the blink of an eye. Yeah, like she cares. Fear rules the land as the Devil King's army rapes and pillages and slaughters and... D did she say rapes? <laughs> No way. I fear rules the land as the Devil King's army rapes and pillages Oh my god, she did. And more slaughters. More slaughters, yes. Dude, she, she bumbled that script. Life is so hard there. The population is in decline because no one wants to reincarnate back into it. Fun. To help, we decided to send young people who died in other worlds to that one and let them keep their bodies and memories. Pretty clever, huh? Bro, bro! The gods fucked up with this world, so it's like, oh, hey, can you, uh, can you, uh... What's the point of sending me there if I'm gonna be killed anyway? I'm glad you asked! Uh. If you decide to go, I will let you choose one thing and take it with you. It can be anything, like a powerful weapon or a special ability. You can have a new... Dude, she is literally just gaslighting him into picking the worst of the decisions. He could have picked just going back to his world. He could have picked heaven, which probably is a lot better than she's making it sound like. She is gaslighting, gatekeeping, and girl bossing. Holy shit. Life and keep all your memories from your old one. Plus, you can have an awesome power or weapon. That world needs a hero. And you can be it. Dude, she is literally feeding into this man's insecurities. Oh my god, that's crazy. Hero. 
That's some deal, don't you think? Um, just wondering, won't I have to learn this world's language? Oh, right. Well, we already thought of that. It's like a whole guidebook. Don't think that you can get us with plot holes. Thanks to the kind support of us gods, we'll load the language into your brain. You'll be able to speak and read it right when you oh, arrive. Let's go. There's a chance you'll get over. Because the process of installing the ability to speak parallel worlds language into the one who wishes to be reincarnated here, henceforth re for his reincarnated requires instantaneous overloading of the hippocampus and cerebral cortex, henceforth referred to as brain. Reincarnated's brain may, in rare cases, you lose certain phantoms. What? Lose certain faculties. Go poof. Should this occur, according to Article 1296, Clauses 2 and 5, uh, as Article 2051, Clause 3, incarnated may not hold these responsible for his reincarnation again. Bro, this is the Niji Sanji contract! Killer weapon, and I'll go ahead and send you on your way. You just mentioned something that sounded serious. Something about going poof? No, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> No, I didn't. I am gaslighting. I am girl bossing. And I am gatekeeping. I am using what they call my womanly wiles. Time to choose. I have tons of options. And they're all amazing. So pick one and I'll send you on your way. I forgot how absolutely insufferable she was. Dude, this is just ego. Ego screaming at its absolute high. <laughs> Maybe it's my gamer's intuition talking, but these skills and gear are kind of whack. Hell, if I'm going someplace where there's magic, I gotta pick something magic-ish. Come on, hurry it up. Oh, she's insufferable! She's like, all right, I used uh, I used my whammon abilities to convince him something, but I don't, I don't got all day! It doesn't matter what you pick anyway. In the end, you'll still just be a shut-in gamer geek. Did I, don't you call me a geek? And I'm not a shut-in! I died outside my house! Based. Based. BASED! Details, shmeetails, just hurry it up already. I've got loads more dead humans to guide besides you, you know. Damn her! Just cause she's sorta hot, she thinks she can get away with talking down to me! Holy shit, Kazuma is the most based man alive. Holy shit, he just said that. Oh my god, bro, he had to hit her with the backhanded sorta hot too. Oh my god! Yeah, wow! Wow! Always has been! Tail as old as time! <sighs> and the gears are turning. The gears are turning! You want me to hurry up, huh? Okay, you got it. I can pick any one thing to take with me, is that right? Uh-huh. Oh, baby, I'm so ready! I'm so ready! I pick you. Okay, stand silence. in the magic circle and don't step up. Hold on, what was it you picked again? <laughs> Let's go! She is about to get absolutely low diffed by oh. by the higher tier, bro. You know something about a dystopian society built purely on power and fame and, and contracts and deals and business and capitalist bullshit? The idea that there is always someone above you. Your request has been heard. Let's go! Bro, bro, this dude's amazing. Like, the pettiness of this man. The absolute pettiness. She is no longer relevant. And fear not, Lady Aqua, for in your absence, I shall tend to your duties. Bro, it's over. So easily replaceable. See, that's the thing so many people don't get. The people that are on these, like, crazy pedestals, they think that they're important just because their whole life they have been told they are important. They are not important. They are... Dispensable, disp dis it dispendable, it disp dispend fuck. Ah, huh. Kazuma Sato's wish complies with the regulations and has been accepted. Wait, you can't be serious. This is obviously a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, redo, cancel the request. You can't do this to me. <laughs> Dude, it all changed. That facade, that glorious egotistical bullshit. No, you can't Expendable. Give me wiggle on it. It's gotta be illegal, bro. You don't understand something, Whammon. This is a capitalist dystopia. The contracts are fucking binding. Hey! Have a safe journey, Lady Aqua. Dude, I, now she's doing the exact same thing that Aqua was doing with the like, the no expression, just standing there. Oh, this is what must be done. Meanwhile, inside, she's absolutely laughing her ass off. Should you defeat the Devil King, I shall send an escort to bring you back here. But I can't fight. I'm a goddess. It's the only skill I have is healing. I'm <laughs> it must suck to be you, 
right now. Oh my god! He's so wonderfully petty. You don't understand. He could have chosen the, the Giga weapon, all right? He could have chosen Thanos' gauntlet, okay? He would have popped into this Konosuba world and become the absolute Giga Chad Harem King legend, okay? However, he is so wonderfully petty that he is willing to throw all that aside, risk his future, running on pure spite and testosterone just to annoy her, just to take her down a peg. Bro is the ultimate anti-establishment. Getting dragged away by the guy you were making fun of. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, bro. You're coming with me and there's nothing you can do about it. I'll tap your power to live the good life. And I'll tap it all day, every day. <laughs> Please don't make me go with the creep life. And I'll tap it all day, every day. Bro, you reap what you sow. Dude, this is like the, the Twitter user that likes calling people. Dude, this is like Sweet Baby Inc calling out the steam group or whatever and then they end up looking through their history and they're the ones that are completely shat on all over the internet i wish you luck and i pray that of the many candidates who have been sent you shall be the hero who defeats the devil king Bruh. you can save that world from his evil but god shall grant you any wish your heart desires Whoa. dude she's she's not wearing fucking anything either <laughs> like what is up with these goddesses seriously hold on a sec i'm supposed to say that now then no 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 you have been demoted begin your journey This aged so fucking well. To all those idiots that are like, it didn't age well, you are so wrong. But, but Kazuma's a womanizer. Fucking losers. Bro, this show is incredible. It's awesome. The reason why it's so good isn't, it's not just funny. It's like, it's a commentary on what isekai is. It's a commentary on, uh, you know, hierarchies and shit. But even more than that, and here's something that I feel like is important and a lot of people miss. Konosuba is a character piece. The actual transporter to the world shit, that's, that's the backdrop for the brilliance of this character piece. Generic Fantasy World A! And it doesn't even matter. <laughs> this is the greatest thing of all time, dude. Look at this. Look at this! The huh? town of beginnings. No way! Wow, a fantasy really world! Am another world! I can't believe it! So, like, does that mean I get to learn magic and, like, go on real quests and stuff? Yeah! I get to be a hero? <laughs> Dude, how the tables have turned. How the tables have fucking turned. Bro, Aqua. <laughs> Aqua's losing it! Losing it! All that ego. <laughs> Goodbye to my miserable hermit's life. Hello to my new one! This fantasy world's gonna break me out of my shell! <laughs> what are you doing? Would you stop already? No, she won't! She won't stop for the next three seasons! If people are starting to stare, and you're ruining my moment! I, I, the, my favorite part about all this is, uh, it's the simple fact that it's all Aqua's fault. She made her own bed, and now she's gonna lie in it. Like, the beauty of this situation that she's in is that it is completely and utterly her fault. Like, it's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. So many people that end up in situations that they hate are literally because they themselves started the avalanche. They started all of it. So anyway, now that we're here, aren't you supposed to give me something? I mean, look at me. I'm still in a tracksuit. I can't do what I gotta do in a fantasy world wearing... Right, but bro thinks that he actually can pull the rules now. Like, he doesn't understand that this <laughs> this world will fuck everyone. Looks like these. Don't I get some basic gear to start with? <laughs> Whoa, <come on! laughs> Bro, if she was only a little bit nice, a little bit nice, it would have been over. Karma is such a bitch. <laughs> Bro! Okay, quit spazzing out! I get it, you're mad! <laughs> They're like, kids, stay away, that guy's creepy. You're here! I'm sorry! God, if you hate it so much, just go back to where you came from. I can manage on my own. Oh, but she can't. You see, he was being petty, but he didn't realize the ramifications of his pettiness. Haven't you been paying attention? I can't go back, that's the problem! I'm stuck here with a creep! What do I do? I'm stuck here and I don't know what to do! The worst thing she could say is no, her. I'm stuck here with a creep! <laughs> calm down, goddess, calm down. <laughs> He's like putting his hand out. Woman, stop crying, woman. All we have to do is find the guild. 
In most RPGs, that's usually the place you gotta go if a player's looking to get some information. Wow, I didn't realize a housebound gamer nerd like you was capable of having good ideas. Whatever, goddess, you coming? Oh, right behind you! Bro, she's so excited she actually might have a chance. By the way, I don't mind you calling me goddess, but I'm worried it'll cause a commotion here. Call me Aquin. Bro, this is like the new Twitch stream camera angles. Like, dude. <laughs> this is literally the Twitch camera angles where they're starting to sit on transparent chairs with a camera under their ass. Hey, wait. Since you are a goddess and all, you should know where something like an adventurer's guild is at. No, sorry, I don't. I deal with tons of worlds. I can't know every little detail about them. <sighs> yeah, I have you, you, you are beginning to realize that it's true. Your brilliantly petty selection of picking her to join you in this world. It's cool and awesome and petty. You are, however, forgetting. <laughs> but the question is, is it worth it? Is the pettiness worth it? I say yes. Man, she's useless. Yeah! He said the thing. Bro, she is she is the poster girl of girl failures. Sure. Hey. Oh, that's deadly. Okay. Well, looks like this is it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are you sure about this? Oh, welcome! <laughs> Dude, there, there is not one bra in this entire world. Holy shit. If you're here to eat, grab a seat where you can. And if you're looking for work, head on over to the counter. Cool, thanks a lot. Dude, it's so well furnished. It's like, it's generic and shit. I love it. I love how they managed to take a world like this. They made it as generic as they can. Because the more generic the 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 setting is the more the char characters stand out as an actual commentary on the rest of the genre mm. hey uh. i've never seen you before yo i love this guy i totally forgot about him <laughs> y'all got some weird ass clothes going on over there yeah <laughs> meanwhile this guy is just wearing fucking nipple suspenders oh well we just rolled into town buddy been on the road a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Dude has more Riz than all of the Jubilee people. Holy crap. You know what I mean? Truth is, I heard y'all could use my help fighting the Devil King. Hmm. If dying's what you want, dying's what you'll get. Welcome to the gates of hell. Yeah. Kill the mission desk. Dude, so he's so nice. He's so nice. We're there, tough guy. Dude, I love it. Hey. What? I noticed how you were talking to that man back there. How did you know how to do that? Because that's how it's done. That's how it's done! Kazuma, the infinite Riz. The infinite freaking Riz, baby. Let's go, dude. Mm. Look, in RPGs, you register with a guild and find a place to stay first. I don't know anything about RPGs. Yo, she's so wonderfully useless. This is so perfect. But if that's what you say we should do, then I'm all for it. Now that's the spirit. Come on, let's go. Uh, hey. I love how, like, uh, Kazuma feels like, no, she will be useful. Um, you seem like such an intelligent guy. It's hard to believe you were a nerd with no friends or girlfriends in life. Thanks for reminding him. So why'd you spend every day indoors acting like a shut-in neat? Look, shut-in and neat are totally different, so stop bro, calling me that, you bro. Hi. How can I help you two today? <laughs> what do we have to do if bra saleswoman out here going out of business every single day? We want to be adventurers? I can help with that. Just pay the registration fee and I can get your paperwork started. Oh, awesome. Wait, there's a registration fee? You got any money on you? Mm-mm. No! Ah! You dragged me here without any warning, so I didn't have a chance to grab my purse. Yeah, you really could have tried to make him feel bad? Yep, totally useless. Yeah! Bro, this show is so good. No, just sitting there alone. Nobody, no magic. Those look heavy, ma'am. <laughs> Ready to order? Sorry. Give us another minute, please. Sure, take your time. No, no. Oh, we're stuck. So now what? If this was a game, we'd at least get some basic gear and enough cash to cover us for... Uh, you're forgetting. This is a game, but... But a bit. How can but. they treat us like this? So much for your reliability. Go yeah, you're one to talk. Go figure. You're a shut in need after all. Don't call me that. <laughs> uh, right. It looks like it's my turn now. It's time for Aqua Riz. This works so well. Watch how a goddess handles this crisis. Dude, I love how she still like thinks that she. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> she thinks that she's like important still. It's crazy. It takes time for that to get out of the system, honestly. Ugh. Dude, this is like the ultimate riches to rag story. It's like, I absolutely love it. Bro, she's gonna use her e-girl charm for the money. Priest! <laughs> Look at this cat! Dude, the cameraman needs a fucking raise. Like, what the hell, man? What is your denomination? Mm-hmm. I am Aqua, worshipped by the noble religious order of Axis. I love how she was like, yo, don't call me goddess. People might think about it. And then she just, like, starts, all right, we flex on everyone. The goddess, Aqua! If thou art one of my loyal followers... I'd appreciate it if you could lend me some money. No! Actually, I'm in the Eris sect. Oh! oh! <laughs> Wrong goddess! Actually, fuck you. <laughs> Actually. Oh, you are? Sorry. No! Wait, miss? You say you're with the Axis sect? According to the old stories, the goddess Aqua is senior to the goddess Eris. I noticed earlier you couldn't cover the registration fee, so this must be fate. Oh! <laughs> I, uh, I noticed that you're a broke bitch, that you have no riz and skibbity toilet L's. Here, consider it a blessing from the Lady Heiress. Oh, just rubbing salt into the wound. Literally, it's like, I will give you some money. In the honor of this girl that you absolutely hate. Although you shouldn't impersonate a goddess no matter how devoted a follower you are. Sorry. Thank you very much, kind sir. Oh my god, the humiliation. The humiliation. She's deserving every second of this. Holy fuck, it's amazing. <laughs> For some reason, he didn't believe I was really a goddess. For some I reason. I stand, though. He even pointed out that Eris is my junior. <laughs> I think one of my subordinates' followers took pity on me and loaned me some money when I asked. Yeah. Wow. Dude, even he feels bad how humiliated she is. Oh, that's glorious. It's so beautiful. Dude, what is with these camera angles? So, uh, we have the registration fee. Oh, okay. She felt so bad. She took the money without even looking at us. Oh, no! Dude, this is amazing. Getting roasted by your own lore. Like, wow, bro. Tell me to explain how all this works. Adventurer is a generic class, and your skills are important. Which brings us to your registration card. It keeps track of your level based on all the monsters you've killed. I love that this is like generic tutorial. Everything when it comes to the actual world building is like so generic. Except for a few little details that we'll probably get to at some point. But dude, the world building is not some mind-blowing shit. It's just the fact that you have this, this story of just average people being petty assholes in another world. Dealing with humiliation and like different societal shit. Like that's just beautiful. When your level increases, you'll earn points you can trade in to learn new skills. Work hard and you'll raise your level in no time. On to the next step. Would you please hold your hand over the crystal, sir? Okay, here goes. Oh, oh. oh my god, generic whirring and zizzing. Once it's finished the evaluation process, you'll get your current stats. Based on those, we'll know which class suits you best. Sweet! I get to find out what all my latent abilities- Dude, this is amazing. I love it so much. These are- Everyone in the guild's gonna freak out over how rad I am! Unless... He's average. That's the beauty of this show. That it's- It is absolutely unforgiving. Alright, let's see your stats. Kazuma Sato. Interesting name. Ah, here we are. Hmm, average across the board. Your intelligence is high, that's good. Oh, wow, <laughs> your luck is way above average. High luck and slightly above intelligence and everything average, bro. God tier. But unfortunately, that's not an essential stat for the adventurer class. With this much luck, I'd recommend you be a merchant instead, or something like that. Oh, no. She's trying to squash my dreams of being an adventurer. 
<laughs> I love how Aqua's laughing. See, Aqu the, the beauty of the show is these people are people. And, and the reason why I mention that specifically is because Kazuma not being a useful fighter, Kazuma not being overpowered, directly is a detriment to Aqua, right? For Aqua, the best thing that could happen is that Kazuma's overpowered and beats the Demon King and she can go back to heaven, right? But she is so just petty that she's willing to take this, to bite this bullet to spite this man. Th these are characters that are operating on spite and spite alone. And it's beautiful. It's a snowball that just keeps rolling, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, screw that. No offense, but I'd still like to be an adventurer, please. Don't look so sad. Once you start leveling up, you can pick something better. Yeah. Yeah, I sure hope so. <laughs> so much for being rad. Well, well, well. Whoa! <laughs> Your intelligence is below average. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're dumb as shit. And your luck is the lowest I've ever seen. <laughs> zero luck, zero intelligence. That's amazing. So your stats are unbelievably high. Oh? Huh? So does that mean I'm unbelievably amazing? No. Amazing would be an understatement. The mage class requires intelligence, so that's out of the question. <laughs> Rip. But other than that, you can be anything you want. Crusader, Swordmaster, Archpriest. They're all advanced classes and you can pick any one of them. Well, it's a shame there's no goddess class, but what can you do? I shall settle for being an Archpriest who heals her allies. I think that's a wonderful choice. Bro, dude, she's just like so excited that she has <laughs> zero int and zero luck. It's a very versatile class with all types of healing and support spells. One that's strong enough to stand fearlessly on the front lines. Oh, that's incredible. I love it so much. This show, it's, it, like, it'll take turns. Because everyone in life has a different lot. At some points, things will be going well for one person. At some point, things will be going well for another. And this show knows that. It understands that every person has their skills, has their skill set, their advantages, and their disadvantages. I welcome you to our Adventurer's Guild, Lady Aqua. Best of luck to you. We look forward to your Bro. No! And Aqua's just like all excited that all these people are bowing to her. Poor Kazuma feels useless. A hard ass chick like you might actually have a shot at beating the double king. This is such BS. She stole my thunder. Kazuma! Today we start a life of adventuring! I thought she hated the whole idea of it. I love the, like, exciting music because this show keeps trying to frame itself as some sort of crazy isekai adventure story. Like, a, a wild adventure to defeat the Demon King. And it keeps trying to frame itself as that by- with everything. With the music selection, with the world building, with the side characters, okay? But- but then you actually meet the cast and you're like, wow, this is nothing like anything I've ever seen before. This is petty people <laughs> meeting their own downfalls. Montage, baby! Right set! Dude, Andrew Tate has nothing on this man. <laughs> He's just pissed off this guy. Uh, average Viking character from fucking Vinland Saga. No! Bro, him and Aqua living in the stables because this life is not just a glorious, happy life. It's just. Life is a bitch when you're just, unfortunately, not in the highest class of society. Life is just a bitch. And wake up the next day, grind set begins again. I love the facial expression. And all she needs to do is just be a pretty girl and they're all just like, oh. Oh. All she's doing is just rubbing fucking shit on the wall and they're all like, Ooh. And he's working his ass off, getting no, no appreciation. Hard day of work, they go, they take a drink, they, can build, they can actually afford food. Like, they're working hard and they're building something of themselves in this world. Like, these are the menial tasks that you never see in, like, the, the overpowered isekai stories that just purely and utterly are all about the flexes and the overpowered main guy. They could finally afford a blanket. The grind don't stop. 
They could both afford baths. <laughs> And they make friends! Dude, you just work hard, you live that peaceful life. Grinding the dailies, getting your primo gems, affording food, freaking making homies that you work hard side by side. Like how, like it's, it's awesome. Like, but here's the thing, cause they put good energy into the world. The energy they put in was hard work, grind set, what they, they're making what they deserve. Everything that they work, literally, it, it, they work hard. They freaking grind their asses off and they get paid for the work that they do. They are putting good energy into the world and they are getting appreciated for it. But whenever they're putting bad energy into the world, like Aqua humiliating uh, Kazuma or Kazuma being petty and picking Aqua, this shit bites them in their butt every single turn. Bro, you gotta be a source of good energy. That That's, that's what this is all about. And there we are. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. And the cycle continues. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like it's a wholesome life. It gets monotonous, but one act of good inspires us. Everything is fine. They're living that peaceful life. They're finally improved. And I love... I think I know how, uh, how this episode ends. I think I remember... Bad dream? Oh man. Oh crap. Oh, what's wrong? Do you need to go to the bathroom again? I'll go with you if you're scared of the dark. I, <laughs> what? I am not! I just realized we've been <laughs> oh, go up in there! Sorry, we'll keep, keep it down. down! Bro. Man, we didn't come here to be day laborers. You're right! No, we didn't! Hurry up! It's so easy to get caught into the hard work. It's so easy to get caught into the monotony and the grind set. It's so easy to forget what your dreams are. Defeat the Devil King already, so I can go back home! Huh. <sighs> Her intelligence stats lower than the average humans. Anyway, True. all the monsters near town were killed- I love how that sentence meant absolutely nothing. It's like, ugh, her intelligence stat is low. Anyway, new sentence, like that had nothing to do with anything. Just reminding us that she's a dumbass. ...off a while ago, and with no monsters, no one was paying for any fetch quests. I get why, but it's all too real worldy for me. Everyone wants to be an adventure, so it's just an oversaturated market, and someone average will not make it in today's society. Like, holy shit. Like, they're actually taking modern day economics and applying it to the fantasy world. Thank you. Uh I love how he's like, she's below average intelligence. She's dumb. She's stupid. She's fucking dumb and stupid, but she's a woman. <laughs> and he's like, all is forgiven. What? You know, when they're not being assholes to each other. Oh, nothing. That bath was great. Say. Huh? I've been thinking about stuff. What do you say we leave town and do a kill quest on our own? How? We're level one. We don't even have any basic gear. It'll be fine. As long as I'm around, you have nothing to worry about. Ah! Oh, <laughs> she's so confident. Ah, oh, no! Aqua! Aqua! Oh, no! <laughs> you can count on me. That doesn't make me feel better. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, have you forgotten who I am? <sighs> Unfortunately, he remembers. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a goddess. Okay, you're on. Great. This won't, this won't, this won't go poorly. This won't go poorly at all! She is so incompetent, it's amazing. This will be fun! Yeah. And with that, our adventure in this new world of ours began. But for real this time. <laughs> Luck skill zero. This is the greatest show of all time! You all, you all haters out there, people on Twitter trying to cancel the show for cringe camera angles or for, for gender equality and, and, and treating women the way you would treat men. All of you, you imbeciles on Twitter. This show holds up, brother. This is the goat, the goat of Isekai. I will not stand for this Konosuba slander. 10,000 likes and I'll react to season three. Konosuba's peak, literally peak. The, the show is peak. This is the best show. The, Konosuba is, is goaded. Konosuba is freaking goaded, bro. Freaking goated. It's goated. It's goated as shite. 
Shitely goated. Goated as fucking goatness. If you made it to the end, click one of these two videos, which also will definitely get me cancelled. See you live on Game. Stay weird, fam.